always allowed to wear this re uh, regalia? Regalia. Uh, it depends on uh, where you're from and uh, what nation you're from. Like I'm, I'm Cree from Alberta, and like this style of dancing uh, originated from that area. And so it's passed on to our family members and uh, relatives uh, who in our community. So how old is this costume? It's pretty old, is it? Oh, or did you... Did same you... thing with the costume down there. Oh, sorry, sorry, regalia, yeah. sorry. The regalia, it's uh, uh, this one is not actually that old, it's only about five years old. It's uh, all the designs and colors are something that we try to uh, reflect on ourselves, like who we are and what we want to portray to the world. So you'll see uh, different like yellows, oranges, representing different things of, say, uh, the, the sunrise, uh, oh. how beautiful that is. And so we try to uh, bring that in, in, into our daily lives and we want that beauty of that sunrise in, in our lives. That's wonderful. How long does it take you to make one regalia? Uh, usually, well see this vest here is all, uh, it's all beaded, right? So, yeah, yeah. So it's a uh, seed it's, uh, uh, it's like months and months just to uh, bead in there. So hard it, work. Yeah, it's usually it takes about, uh, say about a year or two to make, make an outfit. Yeah, Quite expensive so too, it's uh, yeah. just uh, the supplies in there, like the leather, the, the beads. And okay. where, uh, where do you get supplies? There's different ways of things, uh, like the beads and stuff like that. We get them from uh, like stores, yeah, stores, uh, bead stores. Uh, then we have like on, on my head here is a porcupine roach, and that's uh, the roach is uh, the porcupine hair on it. Yeah. And what that is, uh, that represents uh, the porcupine. You ever see a porcupine on its uh, on its guard? It has its hairs out, like shows yeah. its enemy or, yeah. uh, or its predator that is ready for anything. So that's, yeah. that's spiritually what we want to show that we're ready for anything. Uh, Way, any, anything to uh, uh, be prepared for. It, you know, so. And what about this, this feathers? The feathers, these, all the feathers on here are all eagle. Are real? Yeah, they're, they're yeah. feathers. And, uh, I see. To us Native people, that's a very sacred animal. A highly, highly respected animal that we, uh, we look at. Uh, you see the strength in that bird. Like You see like the, like the talon here I was showing you earlier. The talon is a very powerful uh, uh, object, but also you'll see the, the feathers, how beautiful they are, not it? So that, that bird has that balance, and that's what we try to have in our lives, have that strength, but also that beauty. And everything in life tries to, to uh, has a purpose and uh, uh, that balance. So, so, is this one real? Yep, yeah, it's a real, a real eagle talon. Looks really nice. Yeah. So, I see. And how, uh, how heavy is your, your regalia? It's about, uh, the beads and it's about it's about 60 pounds all together. 60 pounds? Yeah, so you see, you feel it a bit here. Is that this one? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. So does it does it take you to get used to it a little bit after you put it on to like go out there and dance? Well, you, you, I, you grow up in it, so I mean, like you, you change things constantly, in it, so it's just like it comes to natural. To, uh, so it's natural. Yeah. So your uh, your regalia represents animals and it represents. Yeah. And uh, it it represents sunrise, right? Yeah, but the, the colors in my outfit represent sunrise. It's like the you know, I have a teacher like the sunrise is uh, every day it comes up and it's so beautiful in that and that's the first thing the Creator shows us. Uh, so we look at that. It's like no matter how hard our day was yesterday, like our work, our school, our family life, whatever, what have you, how hard that was. We have a new chance for a beautiful day, and that's what that that's sunrise is, and that's what we try to bring that out. You know? I know that natives, uh, they are very close to nature. Yeah, okay. yeah we, try, we, we try, everything uh, we believe revolves around our, our mother of the earth. You all see, you see like in the dancing area there, it's like they, they dance in a circle, and that's what our mother of the earth, that, that life, that's our, that's our, our, this is our life here, yeah, our mother of the earth, so we dance on here. Right now, it's a drum in there, yeah. and that represents the heartbeat of our mother of the earth. So, we want to be close to that. So, we try to dance at the same time. Our feet try to land on that, 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 that beat there. So, we're part of our mother of the earth, we're close to that, with that connection. So, we try to. Try to May I ask you a few questions about the grand, uh, the grand opening? Or oh, grand entry? Yeah, the grand yeah. entry. That's, uh, that's something that actually is fairly new. Uh, it's uh, There's a lot of uh, Misconceptions about that is like it, it, it comes from uh, you know Wild Bill. Uh, you ever hear Wild?
well built. Well, well built. He had the, uh, he had these shows in uh, uh, in the time of like uh, Sitting Bull and stuff like that. Eh? And they had yeah. these, uh, like, uh, it's almost like it was almost like a carnival. He had a, uh, of uh, Indians coming there and cow cowboys and Indians. They did these shows around around the world, uh, Europe and uh, North America. And uh, they used to bring in. Uh, the dancers, and that's where the grand entry actually came from. It's something we adapted to, but our culture was outlawed at one time. It was, uh, we weren't allowed to practice our, our traditions and our, our teachings, and so it actually became a way that we could still do it. And, uh, and it was a way of uh, when the Europeans came here, we were very, uh, we were struggling a lot with uh, uh, things of, uh, of our way of life. We were stuck to places uh, and so we, we, we tried to uh, uh, find the means of survival and one of them was with uh, those shows of Wild Bill of, of, of being able to do our culture space he'd, he'd get the fastest people, the most uh, athletic, the uh, strongest and uh, so we strive to keep that and that's where the, the grand entry of the, of the power came through. But the power itself of the dancing is uh, comes from war dance societies, and that's uh, something that's been uh, for uh, thousands of years. So everything is very symbolic, right? Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to ask about the order. Um, is there a special order that the dancers uh, go in? Like men first and then women, or uh, is yeah, that what and, it uh, was? And the, why that is, is uh, you'll see uh, like why in the Grand Street there was men's traditional out there, and then there was uh, uh, the grass dancers, men and in different categories, then the women. Originally it was just men that danced, mm -hmm. and uh, the reason was because it comes from uh, saying a war dance societies, and then what happened was uh, they say uh, with the European contact, a lot, a lot of uh, native culture was being being lost mm -hmm. and so it was women that actually started coming around to uh, uh, support those uh, culture the, yeah and yeah. help those men so they, they used to dance on the outside before uh, oh the, and now uh, they dance they, they dance inside there because they, they, they've shown us that support and uh, keeping the culture uh, strong and alive to, to native people uh, the women is a very uh, special thing so we're, we're, uh, they're the life givers of uh, and so yeah. we have to have that understanding and respect of, of them. That's very good. It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Thank you. I really like the way, um, I really respect natives and I think that the way they think about life is um, very, I don't know, deep. Very yeah. deep. That's yeah. what. Wait, one thing that I always uh, to try to remember is that we, we try to, uh, it's, it's, it's actually, it's very simple, eh? It's like everything, like it's a, it's, if you look at everything in a circle, eh? It's uh, it's pretty simple. Eh? Everything in our culture is like that, eh? When we dance, we dance in a circle. When we think, we try to think in a circle, eh? You think, uh, like if you, you're thinking about things uh, straight ahead, like I gotta get over there, I have to do that, right? You run into obstacles, you're, you're yeah. stuck, you're blocked, eh? Mm -hmm. You think in a circle, it's like, well, there's another way around this. There's, you know, maybe if I come back to this later on, you know, it'll, it'll work out. And with that, you leave that behind for the people who start now, the younger, the younger generations. And so they pick it up and it, and it's just like that revolving thing. So our, everything that we have in our culture just revolves around that circle. So everything is like a circle. Yeah. yeah.